Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Song Theory. Today we will be talking about Harry Styles' new song, Lights Up. Now, this song has been hotly debated and there's a lot of things going on right now that we need to unpack and talk about. So that's what we'll do today. However, I guarantee you that my theory is gonna blow your mind. Let's get started. Okay, so we have a few scenes that we need to unpack before we get into the specific song theory. We're really, we're going to be talking about the scene where he's being rubbed down by both men and women. This scene has been hotly debated of late. According to one of our song theorists, Maria Muguerza, she mentioned that Harry Styles has stated he doesn't like to label his sexuality. However, in one of his hit songs released on Coming Out Day, Medicine, he drops a few hints that he is indeed bisexual. Because this has been hinted several times, it does make sense that the music video depicts some aspect of this fact. Now, we won't be focusing on that specifically, but we will be talking about something that is very interesting and why I think my theory on this song is correct. So, let's dive into the song theory for Harry Styles' song, Lights Up. Looking back at the music video, I noticed that Harry Styles is in one of two states of being. Number one, he's alone. And number two, he's with other people on screen with their faces showing. When he is alone, I notice he looks upset, almost anxious and even angry, crying out as he sings the lyrics. However, when he's surrounded by all of those half naked individuals, he seems happy, comfortable, and even at peace. Now, here we go. This might sound crazy, but I believe Harry Styles in his hit song, Lights Up, is depicting himself as the mythological demon spirit of the Incubus. Let me explain. If you don't know, an Incubus is a mythological demon spirit that preys on men and women sexually as they sleep. Harry Styles in this video is obviously exactly that. As you can see when he is alone, he is angry and disjointed. This is because the incubi require human spirits and human energy and sustenance. So of course he would be angry when alone and needing to feed. Also notice that the video takes place at night. This is the only time an incubi can feed, which explains his excitement when he is finally surrounded by so many people. And a side note, look at this scene really quick where he is floating above this person inside of the water. Now this is interesting, and this wasn't in my original notes, so this is kind of an aside, but this is interesting because this is exactly how the demon spirits of Incubi are actually depicted in a lot of accounts when they are trying to possess or sexually harass their subjects. This is exactly how they're depicted. Moving on. I believe that Harry Styles chose a victim and he fell in love with them. The song describes his journey from being an incubus, a demon of the dark, a monster of the night, being confirmed by his victim by way of perhaps Stockholm Syndrome. Now in the lyrics, he is speaking to himself, asking himself, does he know who he is after falling in love with his victim? To end this somber inner dialogue, Harry Styles at the end of the song is urging himself to step into the light. He even complains and says, so bright sometimes. This helps us as the audience understand his struggle to see this newfound relationship through. He even proclaims his devotion to his lover by saying, I'm never going back now. At the end of the bridge, he makes a disappointing realization. Due to his nature, he is unable to truly cross the threshold of light. By morning, he is nothing but a memory because as an incubus, he can only exist in the dark with his last words before sunrise being, it'd be so sweet if things just stayed the same. Everybody, you have to realize something. When these artists are making these songs and making these videos, uh, maybe you can say somebody like myself, I'm looking at it too deep, maybe I'm crazy, and please comment below if you think any of those things. But you have to look at the video as it is, right? Look at the way he's floating over his victim. Look at the way he's being surrounded by all these men and women. Look at the way the video only takes place at night. Everybody, ladies, gentlemen, listen. This is my point. Look at the video objectively. Really look at the lyrics and understand what's happening here. I believe 
he is an incubus and in this video he is describing himself as a monster that is going through the night and feeding off these people but finally he was caught up. Somebody caught him and beat him at his own game. He found somebody that he fell in love with and he didn't know how to handle it. That's what I think of the theory and please once again let me know in the description below what do you think about this? How, how do you feel about it? Do you think this is crazy? Do you think that maybe I should have touched on something else? Let me know below. But I did do a video uh, not too long ago about me writing the actual theory and that was a lot of fun and I think I'll be doing that a lot more. Um, some of my uh, you know, fans and everybody was helping me make the video, helping me make the actual theory and I, I totally appreciate them for that and I had a lot of fun making this. Um, so guys, I appreciate you watching this again and remember, go to the comment section below. Am I crazy? Is this theory insane? Does it not make sense? You guys let me know. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great day and please make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and I have a Patreon, guys, patreon.com slash song theory. You can go on there, check it out. One dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, it doesn't matter. Everything, anything would help. And of course, when you donate, you actually get an actual perk when you do it. It's actually really cool. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later. Thank you.